What's that D stand for? Um... Hey everybody, Car Dreamer here, coming on your behalf of D-Class Derailed and all things D-Class related. And today we're taking a look at another uh, big boy here, taking a look at a two-pack, Batman vs. Bane from the Nightfall series. And man, as soon as yeah, as soon as this went up, and actually mostly for Bane, I wanted I as soon as I saw this, I wanted this figure. He looks so cool. Of course, this is what it is based upon. The breaking of the bat. And I am super excited to get this open. Obviously, this is by McFarlane Toys. Part of the DC Multiverse line. It looks pretty good. I don't like that they get lazy, though, with the batarangs. Like, they don't have to... I understand they may be casting in the same old... Come on, paint the thing to at least look realistic. He didn't throw blue batarangs. But anyway, other than that, I'm super stoked, especially since I believe that's a cloth cape, a soft goods cape, so that should be really cool. It's a wired one. But yeah, but let's get this open and check it out. And here we are with everything open, and I must say I am... Very happy and very relieved, and we'll go into why. Um, again, I think especially Bane looks freaking incredible. Love the paint job, love the texturing. Everything is solid. He's the one I was worried about because I had read reviews and seen on Reddit for quite a few people that their Bane pretty much came broken in package. As soon as they took him out, uh, limbs were falling off and everything. I'm glad that mine's okay. Definitely uh, some quality control issues to be aware of out there. But I think he moved incredibly well. Butterfly shoulders, elbow joints. I go about... Mm, not quite 90, but a little more than 45. Uh, the head doesn't looks up a little bit, but looks down a good amount. Definitely can turn left and right tilts. Be careful if you're going to make him look uh, to the left as if he was facing us. Just because... Or to the right, I mean, because of that tube in the back. It kind of does connect to the head, but it has... You, obviously, you're not going to do 380 head spins with him. That's all I'm saying. But good head... Decent head range motion. Um, the wrists rotate and bend. He's got some torso crunch. Or I should say, what, not torso crunch. Uh, he can definitely rotate at the waist. Good leg splitting action. Uh, double jointed knees. The, the feet, ankles. Feet swivel at the ankle. They bend. And, of course, toe articulation. So, he's really, really well done. Batman looks a little bit up, looks down. Head rotation, all that good stuff. Butterfly shoulders, double-jointed elbows. The wrist rotating bend. Definitely has good crunch. And, since, and that's to be expected. I mean, you're doing a breaking of the bat figure. He needs to be able to bend forward and backward, so that's good. Um... Splits at the legs, double jointed knees, toe articulation, and of course, bending and swiveling at the ankles. Soft goods cape, which is awesome, allows for the cape to have a lot of posability. So yeah, I think the blue should have been a little darker, but that's just me. Still looks pretty good. Uh, he needs some lips there, but other than that, can't argue, definitely beat up. Comes with two stands, one for each figure. Some uh, alternate hands for Batman, Batarang, alternate hands for Bane, some fists. And, of course, the multiverse card, which is a little bent. But um, So this is going to tie it. Actually comes with the background. Nothing was mounted to the background. I think hopefully this means they realize that, the, that this was wasted money and potential. I mean, they printed these cool pictures on the back for what? They get ruined when you tear the card, the uh, plastic that was covering the card and stands on it. For whatever reason, they glued to that. They didn't do that. Everything was glued to the... Or not glued. Everything was mounted to the back of the plastic blister pack that these are on. So that's really cool. Very happy to see that. And there's, of course, cards. with Batman and Bane. This is from Batman Nightfall. The fight between Bruce Wayne and Bane is detailed in Batman number 497. After three months, the exhausted Batman was no match for Bane. 
Bane pummels him ruthlessly before breaking Wayne's back over his knee inside the Batcave, below the manor, breaking Batman's back. Yeah, that got some uh, mockery on, on for the way that's worded, but still. So yeah, I'm really happy with this figure. We'll take a look at the back on Bane. He's a big, beasty boy. But yeah, I, I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy to have a DC background that I can use. Yeah, I would love to know what you guys think. What did you think about the comic story this is even based on? I mean, it's pretty iconic to have Batman have his back broken. What do you think of these figures? Are these grabs or passes? Leave your comments down below. And until next time, I'm Card Dreamer. This has been D-Class Derailed. Stay evil.